right, hello YouTubers. What we have here is a 1987 Dodge Ram Charger LE 150. I just picked this thing up yesterday. 500 bucks. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that, to be honest. It's, uh, body overall, it's, it's pretty straight. I mean, it's got, it's got some rust, it's got some issues down here. But, you know, it's, it's a 1987, so. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've done, as far as money on it, for sure. It's, uh, missing this little thing, which I found out is like $100 on eBay. I was not expecting that. But, yeah. Got the uh, turbine wheels on it. Eventually, it's going to get probably 33s on it. 33 by 11 and a half, probably. Yeah, maybe a little bit of lift on it. Two inch, maybe four. See how it goes. Uh, the interior is nearly immaculate, as you guys can see. I mean, it, it, I think this right here is the only blemish on the seats that I have found so far. And, back seat it's all there needs a little bit of cleaning up but I mean it's it's clean on the inside put it on the back yeah of course the little shock things on this is bad so I gotta get some new of those but oh well It, uh, it's got a 318 V8 in it. As far as I know, it's completely stock. Automatic transmission, obviously, as you guys can see. Full drive. Um, manual locking hubs, which is a new thing to me. I've never had manual locking hubs before. So I'm kind of learning how to work those uh, efficiently. Because getting in and out of it, every time I pull in the driveway, as you guys can see, my driveway is... Well, not quite as bad now, but it was just straight sheet ice, same with the road leading to it, and it's about a quarter mile road worth of that. So four wheel drive is a necessity. Um, the guy that had it before me deleted the lean burn computer from it, which anyone out there who's a Dodge, old Dodge guy will know what I'm talking about with this lean burn here. Sorry about that. And, uh, it's usually positioned somewhere over here. And so here's the plug that usually goes to it. He deleted that out and that controls the ignition and the uh, carburetor. Well, so he what he did is he put regular old coil ignition in, which kind of cool to see. The sugar back there, just bring it over the sugar, the coil back to next to it. Nothing fancy, but it worked. It's worked for years and will continue on working because we have to put it That's good. I got a little bit of a better freezer. Okay. Um, the carburetor, it's the stock Holly, I think. I think it's stock. I'm not sure. But it's a Holly. It has this little motor thing down in here and that's supposed to be adjusting stuff to make it run right well obviously without that computer in there it doesn't do that so i adjusted it up it runs will it start when it's cold i don't know yet i may end up having to put a new carburetor on it anyway or a new used one rebuilt or something like that on it anyway uh just to be able to make it run when it's cold because that's what its main purpose is be able to be driven while it's cold so I can lend my big black Dodge to my mom that she has a full to drive. That's its main purpose right now. Eventually it's uh just gonna get outfitted with lights on the front here and probably a bull bar and all kinds of good stuff, big tires, mean tires, all the good stuff. Um I become kind of a trail runner rock climber multi-purpose machine i'm not really going for mudding i don't personally care for just getting your truck covered in mud and 
flooring it for 15 minutes. I've never really found the excitement in that. So that's just me. So I, I like trail running. A little bit more of a challenge to me. I like it. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys what it sounds like. Put the camera underneath me. Right now it's just straight up whatever that is, I guess stock, I don't know. Um, it's going to have glass packs on it, either dual or single, we'll see. We'll see what the money says. Money is the main deciding factor at this point. But yeah, see there's that big old muffler underneath there that's been hacked off or rusted off or something. It's kinda hanging on my thread, uh, along with the rest of the exhaust. So this thing's probably not gonna pass inspection if I actually took it to a true inspector, but I don't care. I'm not going to do that. I don't care about the Dodge, or not Dodge, uh, Missouri inspection. All my stuff, it's not my problem. I know what I got, I'm happy with it. Um, got cab lights on it, someone added, I guess. Uh, oh, the manual lock tubs down here. Turn that and locks in your hub. Turn it back and unlocks it. Full drive work. I had to use it to actually get it out and go take it for a quick test drive. But it drove actually quite nicely, surprisingly. It's just a three speed transmission, but overall it drove nicely. Needs a alignment bad and the steering tightened up bad. That's about how much play I got in it as it sits right now. So I gotta tighten up that steering box. Um, yeah, heater, the actual switch for the heater doesn't work. So he wired it up down there and all you have is high. But hey, it works, whatever. The uh, radio. Are you like, oh, this is awesome. And then it just all you get is AM radio. So I'm gonna have to put a new radio in it. And actually, something I thought was interesting, I opened up this metal console here and uh, had one of these in it. So, I don't know if it actually works in this. I haven't tried it yet. But had one in here, so that's good. It's helpful. Anyway, one less thing I have to buy to put new radio in it. And I, I probably won't go anything too crazy on the radio. Just give me, you know, give me radio. Bluetooth probably and that's about it um, I'll eventually have a CB in here I mount it right about here here I don't really use I might need that but I'll mount it somewhere in here have a CB I like my CBs um, but yeah otherwise that's about it uh, I'll I'll be given kind of a build video over time it's gonna take some time to do it just because I don't have a whole lot of money to sink into it right now. I'm just kind of getting by on what I got. But, yeah, I'll do kind of a build video of when I do the lift and the bigger tires on it. Um, I may eventually swap out the 318 for a 360 and then build that up. You know, stroke it, bore it, cam it, all the good stuff. The standard. Um put a tow hitch on front and back and eventually have a winch uh, that slides into the hitch on front and back so that way if I want a winch I can have it on front or back instead of just being stuck to a front winch because that doesn't always help you um, all lights work which is exciting yeah. got this little dude up here I guess they sealed that up maybe I don't know I really looked at that much. I tried to open it, but it wouldn't open, so I guess they might have sealed it. I'll have to get a different one. But, yep. He's a little bit of love, but, hey, 1987 Dodge Ram Charger, 500 bucks. I'm proud of it. Alright, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, and keep your eye out for new videos on it. Hopefully, I'll be getting some interesting stuff done to it soon.